before I talk about the internet, I'm checking to see if it's time to switch the water line, the inlet from the small creek over to the big creek. But the flow over here is still looking good. So we'll leave it for now. Less sediment, whoa, less sediment and debris comes down this one. Eventually we'll have to move it over to the big creek when the small creek gets too low. You haven't seen much of this ranch on video until recently. The last couple of years I haven't been spending much time out here. One of the reasons this place is a long distance from any kind of cell service, internet, electricity. And I don't know if you've noticed, the last couple of years I've been working on this gig called starting a YouTube channel, which can be a little bit hard to do when you don't have internet, cell service, or electricity. I knew there was an internet provider that might be a solution for remote off-grid places like this. This year I finally got hooked up with that. So far it's working great. It's allowing me to spend a lot more time out here. This is a great place to be in the summer. It's not as hot and the wildfire danger is not as high as it is inland where the sawmill is. Let's go down to the house and I'll show you what I have set up. It starts by putting, whoa, it starts by putting this little gizmo up on the roof. or in any area where it doesn't have obstructions like trees or anything that would keep it from having a clear view of the sky. I put it up here to keep it safe from bears or cows that might want to step on it. The reason it needs a clear view of the sky is because a while back some dude they call Elon Musk tossed a bunch of satellites up into the air. Well not really into the air but into outer space. I'm guessing the way he would have done it is had Chuck Norris toss them up there for him. Seems like the most practical way to do it. This thing sends a beam up, connects to one of those satellites, then those satellites and this thing do their thing together, and voila, I mean voila, we have internet here at the ranch, finally, after all these years. It's an amazing thing. A little bit expensive, but it's an amazing thing. From that gizmo on the roof, it has this cable that goes to this router. All you do is plug it in. It takes it several minutes to connect with the satellite to do its thing. But once it does, that router puts out Wi-Fi just like any other Wi-Fi. You can connect to it with your phone, laptop. It works quite well. Since we don't have electricity here, okay, I mean power lines running to the place type of electricity. I've been running it off of this LiPo 4 battery connected to this pure sine wave inverter. For an off-grid system, it is a bit of an energy user. It pulls anywhere from 50 to 100 watts continuously. Most of the time, it's in the 50 to 70 range. Running it on that battery alone, it'll go for about 18, 19 hours straight. If I don't have it on 24 hours a day, and I only turn it on when I need to use it, that battery would last me several days. Actually, if I only turned it on when I needed it, that battery would probably power it for weeks. But I have it on more than that. With my iPhone, I can use it for phone, I can use it for text, and being hooked up to a solar panel, I can keep it on all the time. If we go out here, I put this portable 400 watt solar panel on the south side of the house. It's connected to this charge controller that is connected to the LiPo 4 battery, which is way more than enough power to keep Starlink going to charge my laptop, my phone, my computers, computers, not computers, cameras, and give me the ability to make and upload videos out here. That is in sunny weather, which it is most of the summer. How that will work in cloudy weather, whether that panel will be enough to keep all this going, I don't know. This is a little bit of a janky setup I have here. What I want to do is test the batteries, test the solar panel to see how much I need, how many batteries, how many watts of solar panels I need to fuel what I'm doing out here. After I figure all that out, I can build a little portable system that I can take with me when I leave here to wherever I'm going. It would be easier just to buy an EcoFlow or something like that. But this is a lot less expensive and I'm finding this 
solar, as I've been playing around with it, it's a fun little hobby. I've been enjoying it. I'm also testing these batteries with this Dometic electric cooler. I have the freezer compartment at 7 degrees, the refrigerator compartment at 41. It'll run off of both AC and 12 volt DC. I've been running it straight off this battery for over a day and a half, still at 13 volts. Okay, maybe I had the freezer at 5 degrees. There used to be a gas refrigerator here, but it doesn't work anymore. I got tired of having to go into town to get ice. I want to see if this is a good solution. I want to see how long it will last on this battery. Partly out of curiosity, but I'm going to hook that up to solar too. I think that 400 watt panel will be enough to run all of this. I will put a link for these batteries though. WattCycle did send me these batteries to test out. They contacted me when I was looking into getting set up here for solar. It just worked out. I have been enjoying these batteries. I've been getting a lot of use out of them. After using these LiPo4 batteries, I'm going to phase out all my lead acid deep cycle batteries. It seems like I have to replace those every three years, maybe five if I'm lucky. The LiPo4 batteries are not good if you're in an extreme cold climate. Most of the time I'm in a fairly mild climate. These have been working out very well for what I'm doing. They are smaller than my equivalent lead acid batteries, about half the weight. I think they're around 20 pounds. You don't have the acid, the corrosion. They can last over 10 years. A lot of people say if you treat them right, they can last a lot longer than that. These are what the solar people are going to. It has the battery management systems, the temperature, shut off, control, whatever they call it. They've allowed me to be out here at the ranch and run my YouTube channel. I wanted to get set up with all this, but I was busy doing other things. When they offered to send me those batteries, that put me over the edge to start getting all the rest of this. I think they may have created a monster here when it comes to solar and off-grid energy. I'll put a link to those in the description, the, des the description below while I edit this video and upload it from the ranch. It's an amazing thing. Okay, here it goes. My video is being uploaded. It's shooting out of this thing, going up to a satellite up there somewhere. Then it goes from that satellite, goes to YouTube. Which direction is YouTube? I don't know, wherever YouTube is. It's an amazing thing. Old Elon gets a lot of flack sometimes for being Elon, but I have to say, this is a pretty cool trick, dude. 